Hey everybody, it is your buddy Chopadong, once again brought to you by DFSArmy.com, one-stop shopping all things daily fantasy sports from NFL, NBA, MLB, PGA. It doesn't matter what you play, we have the tools, we have the coaching, we have the discounts, everything that you need to become a better player. So head down to the comments section, click the link, use the coupon code CHOP, C-H-O-P, and get a 10% discount off VIP and core for pricing. Brand new for 21, we already have... 10 winners of over $10,000. We have a one of $50,000, a $150,000, and a $200,000 winner under our belt, and we're only on January 6th. I normally come at you with a bunch of NFL, NHL, MLB, NBA type of stuff, and I'm doing a thing called Lock the Chalk that I'm going to start filming here in a bit to get out to my VIPs because we're on to something with NBA. But more importantly, today I'm going to ratchet the nerd level up just a smidge. And I want to explain to you a little bit about sports betting. Maybe it's not your thing. Maybe it is your thing. Whole point is, if you sports bet, I'm going to encourage you to look for things like value. I have a poker brain, and my poker brain calculates value and equity share and probable odds, all this kind of stuff, um, because it likes to. And when I find value... in if I am in a value, a positive value situation, I should be putting money in the poker pot. Same with DFS, same with sports betting, same with anything. If I'm in a positive expected value position, I should be putting money in. I should be investing money. And here's one way to think about sports betting. If I go into uh, mybookie.com, where I'm dabbling with sports betting and playing around, having a good time, had, what, 50 bucks a couple of weeks, so, I don't know, Thanksgiving-ish, eight, six, eight weeks ago. We're now up to almost $200. I mean, you can't beat the results that we're getting at sportsbetarmy.com, so consider a membership over there as well. I might even drop the link there for you, too. But more importantly, what am I doing with these groups in the golf tournament this week? Because there's a funny situation, and... When you calculate all these guys and their odds, let's use the names everybody knows. Dustin Johnson, John Rahm, Xander Shifley, Justin Thomas, Bryson DeChambeau. Do you really honestly think there's a big difference between Dustin Johnson and Bryson DeChambeau? If you answered no, you're probably right. In the course of any given round of golf, I mean, there might be less than a one-stroke difference between the two. In any given four rounds of golf, now, now let's cast aside things like course setup or, you know, whatever, because that definitely plays a little bit of a role, but they're both excellent top of the world golfers, and there's probably less than a couple of shots between them. Dustin Johnson's clearly the number one in the world. Bryson DeChambeau had a great year, probably top five, top 10 golfer in his own right. There's not maybe a half a stroke per round. There's just not much separating these two on a normal basis. But the price discrepancy coming out of Vegas, the odds offered out of sports books are drastic. Plus 250 versus plus 460. Here's where my math goes into equity mode. If I have equity share in a poker pot, I may have pocket deuces, you may have pocket aces. I'm still going to win that pot a few times. I have a percentage of that pot, whether it's $100 or $10 million, I have a percentage of that pot that I am theoretically owed, that I'm going to realize. Now, for every dollar I put in, I may be losing money. I may be only getting 25 cents back out, as opposed to putting in a dollar and getting a dollar 75 back out but I do at least get something. Now, if that something is more money than you're putting in, then it turns a profit and you should bet it. In order to do that, if you, if you, me, and your brother and your kid are sitting around playing poker, there's four of us at the table in a hand, if we're all four in the same hand, just in a vacuum, we have a 25% chance each at winning the hand. There's four of us. Now, you may have a skill edge over me. You probably have, or you may have pocket aces. You have more than a 25% chance to win that pot, right? Dustin Johnson may have more than a 20% chance to win this group. That's what we're looking at here is a five-person group with an it just standard, nothing considered, each guy has 20% chance to win. Now, the pricing out of Vegas 
is dictating differently. In order to break even on a bet, putting down even, you know, $100, you've got to win back 250, you're going to win back 350, so $100 divided by $350, just to show you real quick, 100 divided by $350 means that Dustin Johnson has to win 28.5, 28.6% of the time to break even on that bet. Is he going to do that in a group where he really only has a 20% chance to win because they're all pretty darn even? Now, I don't think so. If we ran this scenario 100 times, Dustin Johnson would have to win 28, almost 29 times out of the 100 for you just to break even. Because Bryson DeChambeau is getting better odds, Bryson doesn't have to win as often. Bryson, $100 in, 460 profit, 560 back out, means that Bryson only needs to win 17.9% of the time. Now, aren't Dustin Johnson and Bryson DeChambeau a little closer to even? Shouldn't they both be a little closer to maybe 20% in this grouping of five? Dustin Johnson is overpriced, probably. Bryson DeChambeau might be underpriced for this situation. If that's the case, then you could very easily make money over the long run. Now, it might not happen this time. It's not going to happen often. I mean, no one is going to win this grouping 50% of the time. Most of the time, you're going to lose. But when you do win, it should pay you back more than it costs you, right? Over time. Of course, if I put in you know, $100 and I get back 560 bucks, I, I won this time, but then I should lose and lose and lose and lose and then maybe win again, right, for all things to balance out. But why wouldn't I focus on this value? And let's say Bryson DeChambeau needs to win 20 times out of 100, just for easy math, but instead he actually has the skill advantage to win 21 times out of 500. Well, I should bet that. There's expected value in there. There's, there's positive expected value, right? So all I'm trying to do is focus on positive ex expected value situations and put money into the pot. So I know it's a 60% chance at winning if I knock off three guys, 20%, 20%, 20%. And these two guys are the big favorites, so it's probably not quite 60. It's probably like 55%. But if I just put a dollar on each of these guys, Then I've got a you know one dollar in three fifty out one dollar in four sixty out one dollar in four sixty out. I mean, if I'm getting back, I'm putting three dollars in one two three, and I'm getting back three fifty if the cheap guy wins. I still net a fifty cent profit across these three. Actually, a dollar fifty cent profit across these three. All I'm doing is really rooting for these other two to lose. Now you can do the more specific probability math of how often is that going to work and how often am I going to net a profit. But if, these, if one of these other two win, I'm going to make a little bit more money. Now, you're going to be better off. Don't get me wrong. You're going to be better off just picking one dude, right? That's where you're going to really realize your value. But if you like playing the odds and you like kind of hedging your bets a little bit, this isn't a bad way to go. It's just food for thought in a, in a scenario of sports betting where maybe you're learning, maybe you're wanting to get onto some sharp bets. That would be a scenario where you would want to talk to the guys over at Sports Bet Army. They might tell you I'm a complete nutter moron. You might tell me that in the comment section. I don't care. All I care about is if these guys here have a roughly 20% chance and Justin Johnson needs to win 28% of the time, he's overpriced. And if they have a roughly 20% chance to win, and Bryson DeChambeau only needs to win 17.9%. He's generally underpriced. So is Xander. I like them odds. When I see value, I bet value. And I would say there's value in Bryson DeChambeau this week. Or any of these guys. You know, you want to look at some of these guys, Neiman, maybe a little bit. Webb Simpson, Victor Hovland, maybe a little bit of value in those guys. Maybe a little bit in Cam Champ over here. Whichever one, pick your favorite. Put a couple of bucks out there, watch some golf this weekend, and have some flipping fun. There's a million ways to play the sports betting game, and that's what we're focused on also at our sister site, sportsbetarmy.com. In terms of DFS Army and DFS, this situation happens too, where if you have an equity advantage in DFS 50-50s, you have more than a 50% chance to win because your skill level is at 62%. You should be putting as much damn money into those 50-50s as you possibly could. Because again, on any given night, you could lose, 
but you're going to win more often than you lose. And if you win more often than you lose, I mean, if I had that scenario again where I had to only win 21 times out of 100 to make money, I wouldn't want to just play that game 100 times. I would want to play it 200 times, 500 times, 1,000, a million times because every time I play that game, I have a positive expected value and it's just going to take time for that number to add up, for my advantage, my edge to add up. And if I want to make money at it, I need to be swinging a big bankroll. I need to be swinging a lot of contests. And I need to be swinging the long term instead of the short term, which is what a lot of people struggle with mentally in this game. So hopefully, hopefully that's resonating with you to a certain degree, whether it's sports betting or whether it's daily fantasy sports. Hopefully you give either one of our groups a shot at DFSArmy.com or SportsBetArmy.com. Hopefully I see you inside asking these coaches questions, maybe asking me questions. Pick my. I love talking about this stuff. I love thinking about this stuff. I have a smart enough brain, just smart enough to get me into a whole lot of freaking trouble. And if you think like I do, we could probably be friends. Jump on in. Come look me up. Use the coupon code CHOPCHOP. Get that 10% discount off of the core four or the VIP memberships at DFSArmy.com. And we'll make you a better sports player, sports better, or daily fantasy sports player as well. Take care, guys. Talk to you real soon.